It's been 14 years in the Incredibles. Why did you decide now is the, was the right moment to do it? It's a cool. Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have silly answers yes, we and have. real answers. The silly <laughs> answers is we did a lot of uh, analysis, and this was exactly the perfect time for this story. <laughs> but the truth is we got busy doing other things. We were doing other movies, and at some point we thought, oh, we better make this movie soon or nobody's going to care anymore. <laughs> um, we have seen a lot of superhero movies since 2004. Uh, what do you try to avoid to still be special? Um, well, somehow the joke gets better the 400th time you've heard it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, you know, I think that uh, our wheelhouse, what, what helps us to work, has always been the family and the fact that um, we don't use uh, the superhero aspect as the meal. We use it as the lemon that's squirt, uh, squirted on top of the meal. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's more about uh, using the superhero genre to um, comment on things than it is to make it the point of the movie. Um, the sequel focus a lot more on women. What led you to it? Uh, to to uh, feature Helen? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I just, uh, it just uh, cracked me up, uh, the idea of, of Bob sitting there when someone else chooses uh, <laughs> someone other than him for the assignment. He mm -hmm. just assumes that he's going to be everyone's first choice, and that's the only logical decision that could ever happen. And uh, I thought it would really mess him up uh, <laughs> and uh, be fun uh, to animate him. It wasn't for any sociological reason. It was just I thought it would be good entertainment. Um, all of you also work on the first one. What has changed in Pixar since 2004? You know, one of the big things is that the pe people who we worked with on the first film have 14 more years of experience and working together, and we also have a whole influx of new, young, talented, creative people. From all over the world. From all over the world. I mean, Pixar is an amazing place to make a film because the, mm -hmm. the crews there are so good that if you, if you can tell them what you want to make, they can make it, and they can make it fast and beautiful. And there were people who saw the original movie as uh, uh, teenagers that, that are now, um, you know, filmmakers. And so uh, a lot of them wanted to work on the movie because they enjoyed seeing the original one in the theaters. Uh, did you recover some ideas from the first one that you weren't able to use back then? Oh, Jay, yes. We have some ideas from the first that you weren't well, able to Well, of course, raccoon fight. Realize the raccoon time. fight with Jack Jack was. Yeah, yeah. Teddy the best. Newton, uh, one of our artists, had that idea the first, uh, uh, during the first film. And um, I always intended the um, Jack Jack and babysitter story to be something we could cut to if the story ever slowed down. But the story never slowed down. So we <laughs> never ended up cutting to them. And we ended up making that as a, as a short film that went uh, on the Blu-ray or the DVD. Um, so uh, uh, that idea, the raccoon fight um, with Jack-Jack, uh, was uh, something that I really wanted to see, and, and we had an opportunity in this one. It was the first sequence that we animated in the movie, so yeah. it was very inspiring to the crew to start on that scene. Um, from that point forward, we had momentum and energy to make the rest of the movie. Um, uh, addiction to technology is the main motivation of mm -hmm. the villain. Uh, what was your process, your process to, find, to find it? Well, the weird thing is, is that many of the key ideas of the film I've had for a long time, you know, they date back to the, the first movie. The role switch, the fact that Jack-Jack was going to be a character, all that stuff was uh, ideas I had a long time ago. Um, but the villain plot was something that was always changing. And the, the, uh, what I pitched to Pixar to get the green light on this um, actually about five months in didn't work as well as I wanted it to. So um, the, the idea was always changing and we kind of arrived at this spot. Um, I was inspired by the fact that my kids get sucked into uh, 
uh, what's happening on screens more so than they do what's happening around them. And they've all uh, dealt with it in, in different ways that are interesting. They realize that it's, it can be a dead end. Um, but uh, it just seemed like it would be a good way for the villain to approach people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.